Will you be making a Why I Left Team Maverick video? <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> Here it is, the Logan Paul expose. I always find it hilarious when people make these videos. And so yeah, I have officially moved out of the Maverick house and I will go into explaining that in a little bit. First, I just wanna say that these past two, two and a half years working with Logan and the whole Maverick team has been an absolute journey. It has been one of the most fun and funniest times of my entire life. There's so many memories working with Logan that I'll cherish specifically. From our Hawaii trip, running on the bridges of Kauai and going on countless adventures, countless spontaneous trips and travels throughout the country, filmed over 200 impulsive podcast episodes, filming two documentaries, and all the hilarious moments that unfolded in between. Ew. Oh no. Shit. You know about this, man. <laughs> <laughs> and what I cherish most actually over the past couple years is all of the hilarious, ridiculous, off-camera moments, the things that people haven't seen. Everyone at Team Maverick has an incredible heart and I'm excited to see what they do moving forward. So why did I leave Team Maverick and what inspired me to make the move? I think the best way to explain this while also leave whoever's watching this some value in their life is uh, there's this term a few years ago I learned called Ikigai and it's a Japanese term and essentially it means your reason for being or your purpose in life. And it's a way for you to look at your life in order for you to live it to the fullest and be most fulfilled. And so what Ikigai essentially means is that within your life, if you can encapsulate these four areas, you will live an extremely fulfilled life. And it's first off, are you doing what you're good at? Two, are you doing what you love? Three, can you be rewarded or paid for it? And four, is it what the world needs? And if you can live your life doing something that you absolutely love, something that you're good at, something that you can get rewarded for, and something that you feel like the world needs, then you'll live an extremely happy life. And a part of the reason why I felt called that this was a time in my life I wanted to step out and step into something new is I was totally doing something that I was good at, I was getting paid for, but it started to feel like a job. And it's obviously very bittersweet because I love everybody in the house to pieces. But ultimately it comes down to this. I realize that we all have a very limited time here on earth. And as cliche as it is to live each day like it's your last, we all truly don't know when it's gonna be our last day. There's somebody driving a car right now and they won't wake up tomorrow and I'm sure that they weren't thinking that it was gonna be their last day. So I recognize that life really is truly fragile and that time is our most valuable asset. Moving forward, I really wanna invest my time and energy into projects that I can fully get behind and that fully light me up. And this isn't to dog on what Logan and Mike or anybody at the house are doing. I think that what they're doing is incredible and it brings laughter to so many people's lives. Uh, but just for me, it's not the personal work that I feel called to do moving forward. So while it may seem like it's a dream job for some people, and it is, it just is not my personal dream job. And so I'm fully moved in now to the new spot, which I'm excited to show you guys in the coming videos. I have some very exciting projects that I'm excited to show you guys. And so before moving out, I actually hand wrote everybody at the house letters just to send my appreciation and to share reflections and, and, and things that I see in all of them. And again, just to show my gratitude for the time that we spent together for the past couple years. A couple nights ago, we had my send off dinner and I handed them out. So I'll roll a few of those moments next and then share some of the move out day. And then last night after the full day of moving, I went back in the empty room and you guys will see at the end of the video, Logan and I had a little chat, reflecting on what it's looked like over the past couple years working together and what that will look like moving forward. Appreciate you all for checking out this video. Life goes on, the story continues, and so does this video. <laughs> Love you all, appreciate you all so much. Seriously, I've had so many amazing memories and like as chaotic as, as it is, I love the uh, <laughs> playfulness and like how it's literally just a glorified playground for like, Grown up kids. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, Andre, so personal thanks for how you've helped me these past two years, uh, both privately and publicly. You and I both know the type of advice you give me off camera that helps me go through with the, the way that I live. And yesterday was a good example of that. And thank you guys for being there for me. Um, and I, I, I don't like to call this a departure so much as uh, what you said, a next chapter. And, I, you know, I told you, like, my resources are your resources. Keep us in your life. We all love you. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be excited to see what you do next. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. We, we made really deep eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. But I swear to God, I think I saw your brain. It was big. <laughs> bro, I, for, the, for a second there, I was like, damn, should, I, should we kiss? But it was just a thought. It was just a thought. <laughs> Kiss, 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 kiss. I was, I was actually, I was talking about the band. <laughs> we talked earlier about memories that we had of each other, and one that I, I had that had slipped my mind for a second that I'm recalling now is a day when we spent a very moving, um, 
moment breathing deeply on the floor in the same room as each other that led us all to some some major breakthroughs in our own lives and uh i I remember coming out of that thinking to myself um and, and i think telling you how pure of a person you are and how refreshing that was to find in a place like los angeles this toxic cesspool that we all reside in and uh you know I think where you're going is a, is a place that aligns with that purity, but I guess what I would say is just keep on not losing it. Keep on not losing that purity that exists within you because it's yeah. very it's very rare. So just keep it keep it going. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yes. Hey man. Hey brother. Yo, so I was just walking by uh, the moving truck and I just went a quick, I glanced at it like this, I was like this, and I saw uh, a love sack. Oh yeah, yeah. And I just want to ask you, what you think you're doing with my love set? Oh no, so actually it's my love set. How? How? No, 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 no. What do you mean? No. Yeah. Tell you what. What? I'll let you have it as a part hey, of it. Yeah, thank you, man. Why would you do that? You switch hands to the shape with the wrong hand. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, man. Just forget this ever happened. <laughs> okay. We did it! <laughs> Here we are, made it. Everything is officially out of this room and into the new room, which you guys will eventually see. My guy. You walked in at a perfect time, bro. I was just exposing you. I'm about to expose myself. No! <laughs> hey, man. It's been a minute since I've seen this room empty. Yeah, bro, so I'm just like uh, reflecting. Just like over the past years, obviously, it's been an amazing journey. There have been so many takeaways and so many, so much growth. Mm. Ultimately, like what it comes down to is, you know, obviously it's very bittersweet mm. leaving this place. Bitter because like I, I love everyone in the house, like everyone here has such amazing hearts. Mm. Sweet because, you know, I'm jumping into the next unknown chapter of my life uh, and like search of what, but I feel like my intuition and heart is kind of like leading me a mm. path down. I heard, I heard a quote from Steve Jobs, listen to your heart and intuition for somehow they already know who you are to be. Mm. And I feel like this next chapter of my life, I'm going full throttle on that and, and what that is. I think the growth that I've seen from you over the past two years, beyond like an endless list, the one thing that has been very clear to me is that you've gotten good at identifying what you're good at. I notice now that you're taking steps to fulfill the things that you actually want to do and the things that you were actually good at. Because mm. like, to, I think to be truly successful, you have to find that balance at what you love and what you're good at. Yeah. And maybe you weren't so strong in certain aspects, but you've developed and I've gotten to watch you develop because like, bro, when you started living here, how old were you? 19, 20? 20, 21 maybe. Yeah, you were young. Yeah. I remember you were young. You were like the youngest kid in the house. Totally. And, and now to watch you, like you, you are, you strike me as a man now, <laughs> you know? I mean, all of us have, have, yeah, have, totally. have grown up and, uh, it's, 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 it's been cool to see like, I, I, especially like that dinner that you hosted and like hearing for the first time, like that, that's the thing you want to do, like facilitate connections and energy between people. Yeah. And I think that's like a, a really strong uh, vertical that you should definitely pursue. Totally. It's been really, really epic to see like the growth from you and Mike specifically mm. over the past like six to nine months. Mm. Um, just going to 2020, if I, I feel like you guys like got really clear on like, all right, let's stop wasting time with, you know, uh, the various things and distractions in life. Yeah. And just the growth that has happened over the past six months is absolutely mind blowing. Insane. Yeah. It's, it, it's insane. And bro, I'm gonna be honest, like we couldn't have done it without you. Like you are, were, and are, were a, were a very important part of this team. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I told you yesterday at the dinner, like the stuff that you, and the advice you've given me off camera privately is worth eons more than anything that anyone's ever seen of us interacting on camera. Mm-hmm. And uh, I definitely think your, your energy was so fucking necessary for this house. Like how you are able to like bring everything here and center yourself and keep us as calm as we possibly can. Like who's to say you're not the one that kept us from going off the rails because you got incense and fun lights in your room. Incense and fun lights.
<laughs> but not anymore. It's been fun to show you that side of the world, like bringing breath work into the yep, house. Yep, yep. Um, and taking those things and you guys actually being open minded enough and mm -hmm. like really digging it mm -hmm. and like having transformations at those things. Mm -hmm. It's been really cool and just recognizing that this, the end of this chapter of like me being in this house is not the end of me being in your life. For sure. Being, you know, it's just continuous. It's just gonna keep getting better and we get to just truly focus on what our gifts are in life mm -hmm. and figure out how we can exchange that for the best growth for both mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm really excited to see what this next chapter has. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, my, my ask would be just like include me, like uh, breathwork sessions, let me know anytime you guys are doing some fun, crazy meditation yeah. shit or like, I, I probably won't always be either down or available, yeah. but like I will be eventually, it's okay, totally. just like that, and like keep me involved, keep me in the loop. <sighs> totally, totally, next time you run a jet ski off of a roof into a foam pit. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> That's on the list. That's on the list. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't really know how else to end this other than like just giving you my sincere, like I was joking, like I exposed you before you walked in, but I'm exposing how most people don't aren't able to witness the you off of camera. Mm. And you have such a pure heart mm. and you're extremely generous. And again, like you haven't been bogged down by what other people want you to be. Mm -hmm. And so you're able to like live your fullest expression in life. And that inspires so many people, like not just in the vlogs, but like people in the house. Is, wait, is this your ILFT Maverick video? I don't, what, what do I call this? Why uh, ILFT Maverick? I should. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the most views. <laughs> All right. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> It's just funny. It's just like, it's just so funny. <laughs> but why Lefty Maverick will get a fucking review? Like, so unfortunately, you know, it's the way it's going. Hey, you got clickbaity, f***ing <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I got you. <laughs>